Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you my sketchbook for the year 2015 or 2016. I think this was around the time that I actually jo joined Instagram for the very first time. I joined Instagram on May the 2015 or yeah, May the 8th and oh gosh, it was one of the best decision I've done for my art so far. And these pictures were from Tumblr from Th this were these were 2015 pictures yeah I was using a lot of gouache at the time and I was trying to paint more regularly this particular picture is acrylic I like this picture a lot actually I was trying to use acrylic in an interesting way trying to mix the color and everything I remember this one this was the first picture I did drawing here I think it was inspired by Anna Katish drawing I love her drawing of girls and stuff so this one was for my Instagram. The, these were on my Instagram as well before I deleted it, then re-uploaded. And this was for a prompt that I was doing called, called If Draw a Week. This, these stars were also for a prompt. That was for a course. This flowers was for a course I did. The stars. So while on Instagram, I saw a lot of different artwork. And it really opened my eyes to to so many different ways of painting or so many different ways that an artist can express themselves using their art. So I got into the repeated pattern things. So this is a repeated pattern here. I got into that a lot while on Instagram. And this was actually for a story that I was doing, a picture book story that I did. I'm gonna see if I could insert the clip. Uh, yeah. I'm going to see if I could find that and then set a clip for you guys. So I decided that instead of having my art on scraps of paper, I need to have my art. Oh yeah, testing colors. I need to have my art in like an art book. But I wanted, I didn't want the A4 book. I wanted something a little bit smaller. So I designed this book and tied it with ribbons and called it my own do-it-yourself art book. This is an outdoor sketch I did in front of, well, I sit, well, I sit in outside Starbucks. I did that outdoor sketch. This was from my imagination. These were from my imagination. And again, I was trying to simplify how I drew. I was trying to simplify my drawing with that one. This one, this was, I think I did this before. But anyway, these plants, plants, fruits. I just decided one day, you know that I'm tired of looking at my Instagram and having the exact same pictures. I just want something different. So I did fruits. I did fruits at this time. And they were fun. And then I went back to doing more line art, which I actually enjoyed. I actually enjoyed doing a lot of repeated patterns. So what I was saying on Instagram, seeing so many different types of art, like I realized that if if you don't know what type of art you want to make, you're going to get carried away by so many different ways of expressing yourself. And that is what started to happen. So throughout the book, you're going to see different, throughout my sketchbook tour for 2015, 2016, mostly 2016, a little bit of 2017 you're gonna see so many different types of art because I was trying everything I was like I was being in, I was inspired by literally everything so some Instagram profiles have a lot of art a lot of line art a lot of realistic art so I was trying a lot of different things I think I did this study from YouTube um, I was following along with um, I can't remember the artist's name I was following along with how he was painting and I painted that. I painted this little girl from my imagination. But I think if I was to come away from with anything, one thing that being on Instagram has taught me is that you just need to know what type of art you're doing. You just have to see how special and how beautiful your own way of expressing yourself through your art is. And you just got to believe in your work. Because really and truly, if you don't believe in your work, who else? Who else? Who else is going to believe in your work if you don't? And that is what I realized. So I mentioned earlier that I actually canceled 
deleted my Instagram. <laughs> but now I re-upload it. Oh my gosh, I remember doing the sketch. All men can be very lumpy, grumpy, short, sweet, neat, tall. It was really fun to do. I was actually following an artist again from Instagram that I saw. His sketches are so fun. So basically what he does is he take a fruit and he does different types of fruit. He takes anything. So for me, I was just taking like, okay, let me do a old man. Let me draw an old man. And let me see the different types of where I can express how an old man can be. So here, this is, I actually started going out every single morning and doing morning sketches of people walking and minding their own business. And I was trying to get the basic shapes for each, for each one of them. And sometimes I'll put line art on them to just make them look a bit more interesting. But it was really fun. It was actually inspired by, I'm sure some of you may have known, heard about this artist, Will Terry, Ter no, Will Terrell, T-E-R-R-E-L-L, -L, and Steven Silver. Oh my gosh, they are my two favorite artists when it comes to drawing people as is. What I mean by drawing people as is, is drawing people in their surroundings they make it look so easy, but you guys, when you're out there and you're drawing, you see so many details and it is such a struggle. It is such a struggle to ignore all the details. Like I know when I'm painting and I see all these details in my painting, I squint down. I'm not sure what to do when I see all these details in, in front of me when it comes to drawing, you know? But anyway, it was fun practice, and it was good practice, actually. It it forced me to simplify what's in front of me instead of just drawing what, whatever. So here I am doing more repeated patterns because I was seeing that on Instagram a lot. And it was actually really fun. I got a lot of comments and likes like for it and stuff, but after a while I found myself just not wanting to get up and do art. Because all those these things were fun, they were interesting, people could relate to them. I think for me, I really like doing more cartoony work. So what you're seeing here, hair, hair, <laughs> Norman. This is an online course that I was doing. An online how to illustrate children's course. I think it, not this one, not this bunny, green and purple, bluish bunny. That was just some experiment, that one. Every day we had a prompt and that particular prompt was drawn here. So for the character study, we have to come up with different ways to just make the character more interesting. We had to do expression this day, so I was practicing different types of expression for my character. And this is the character that I chose. His name is Norman. He's from the Caribbean. Yeah, it was really fun. And then we had to do all different types of children. We didn't have to do breakfast time because it wasn't part of the story. That was me just doodling in between having to do work every single day. Yeah, so I took a children illustration course, Make Art That Sells. It was actually really good. It was actually really good. I had to draw a lot and lot of Normans. And I have to draw a lot of accessories to make him a little bit more interesting. I think this is the work that I submitted. I submitted this one. And there were so many different types of artists on there. And oh my gosh, their work was so amazing. Initially when I started, I was like, nah, I'll be all right here. My work could be okay. But it really challenged me and I actually found myself struggling. <laughs> but I, I don't mind. Or maybe I submitted this one. Anyway, I don't. it doesn't matter. I don't mind because it, it showed me where my strengths were and it showed me where my weaknesses were. <laughs> YouTube. It showed me where my weaknesses were and it showed me how I can improve and how I can become a better artist. And really and truly, yeah, I submitted this online for the on Instagram for the prompt that day. And this is lots of Norman different poses that he could possibly do. He has red feet. I was trying to put a binoculars on him. That was him. I li I, I particularly like the one towards the right. Yeah, one day we had to do prompts. 
we had to draw hats as one of the prompts, accessories, eyeglasses. So what are we going to give Norman to make him look a little bit more interesting? Binoculars. I was So I was trying different type of accessories. That was just me doing other things. So yeah, that is it really. So doing the online courses helped me to become a better artist. It helped me to appreciate my work. It helped me and showed me my strengths as well as my weaknesses. And I don't think there's anything wrong with realizing that you're weak in a particular area. Once you don't actually stay there, once you are saying, okay, I am gonna gonna get better at this. So there's nothing really to be afraid of once you know you're gonna get better at something. So I really hope you guys enjoy my flip through and I will see you next time. Bye.